I want us to look at evaluating functions. So if I were to give you this, given f of x is equal to 3x plus 7, I'm telling you how the relationship works. Okay, This x That x is your input value, okay? And then f of x, this whole guy right here, that's your output. So you plug in numbers and you get numbers out, right? Corey, you were mentioning earlier about doing t-tables, right? When you do a t-table, we do something like this, x and y, but remember we're saying that y is the same thing as f of x. These guys are interchangeable. If I say x is 0, what is, what is the y value? Seven. And how did you get that? Because you just, made, you just plugged in 0. You just, right, you just plugged in 0 for x, and you worked it out, right? But the way you would actually write that using function notation is this. You would say f of 0. When I see this notation, that means I no longer have x, but I have my input value. Are you with me? And whenever you do the substitution, I always want you to use parentheses like this. When you change this from something other than x, then you replace that x with parentheses. So I'm plugging in 0. I do the math, and I come up with 7. So that means to me that my function f, my function called f, evaluated when x equals 0 is equal to what number? 7. That's how you evaluate a function. If I ask you to do this, evaluate f of negative 5. Try the function still on there. What does f of negative 5 mean? Right, now let me ask you this. Do I write this guy is equal to 3x plus 7? No. As soon as I have my input value here, I no longer have x, but I have that input value. So this is my input value, and he goes right here. Are you with me on that? Mm -hmm. So you just work this out. Negative 15 plus 7, you better not be going to your calculator to type that in. I just want to check my work. I got it. Now you're nine. <laughs> yes, it's <laughs> negative eight. So this says that when I take my function f and I evaluate that when x equals negative five, I get negative eight. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. All I'm doing is plugging in numbers, right? It's magic. magic. It's magic. You know, you can do magic. You can have anything your heart desires. Magic. And you know, you're the one who can put out the fire. That's right. You know darn well when you cast your, spa, you, when you cast your spell, you can get your way. When you hypnotize with your eyes, heart of stone will turn to clay. Oh, man. <clears throat> <laughs> I like how that was enough to put make Jess put his head down. You were, remember the good old days, right? Yeah, so I maintain that um, no no actual drum sets were harmed in the making of eighties music. Yeah. Or eighties pop music. If I do F of twelve, what does that mean? Lots of CFCs in the ozone. We multiply, look, all we're doing is changing what we plug in here, and we're just doing the math. This is not, this isn't rocket scientist here. It's, it's not rock science, right? Isn't that the, the right way of screwing that up? So I get that my function f evaluated at 12 equals 43, do you all agree? Now, I know what some of you like to do. Some of you like to do this. You like to write the function right before you plug it in. So you may say this, OK, f of x is equal to 3x <coughs> plus 7. And then you come down to here and you do this. 
Is that acceptable? No. Meredith, you're shaking your head no. Why not? <laughs> what, th this is saying that 3x plus 7 is equal to that, but is it? No. f of x does not equal this. f of 12 equals that. You may say, man, you sure are picky. Yeah, I am. But that's not the final answer. What do you care about? Well, no, you finished that to get 43, but my problem is that when you don't have this, and you say that f of x equals this, which is true, but then it equals that, which is not true. f of x does not equal 43. Does f of x equal 43? No. No. Right, and if you don't say that, you don't use proper notation. Okay, but whether there's a 12 or an x in front of the 3 parentheses 12, 7 doesn't matter. It's the final answer. If your notation is wrong, if and you the if, answer, if, if, if the you, process, I'd check the process. Then what I asked, what I asked is, is it wrong? If, if, if it's this is the right. You're saying this is the right answer. No, function of twelve equals forty-three is the right answer. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. But if I see you do this, hold on. If I see you do this, and then at the very end you say this. If I see that, yeah. I'm going to count off because basically you said that f of x, if I follow your equal signs, you're saying that f of x equals 43. So be careful how you say things. Just like some students that will say this. So f of 12 equals 3x plus 7 equals 3 times 12 plus 7 equals 43. I will count off for that. I'll put the function 12 in, then it's correct, yes. If I don't have this? Put the function 12 in the bottom and the answer. No, because the first one's wrong. Now, That's right. right. Yeah, that mm -hmm. one's wrong. This part right here is wrong, and I will count off for that. What's the bottom part right? This bottom part, of course, is right. We already said that f of 12 equals 43.